A project in Revit will have thousands and thousands of tags that need to be placed on and around elements to annotate your drawings. And since tags are view specific, there's a lot of time that is spent on creating and moving these tags. Some people don't realize how much time they're taking because they tag each element one at a time as they progress through a project. Even with Revit's tag all tool, you can't choose the placement or the rotation. You can't tag element with multiple tags. You can't tag multiple views at once. Then if you change the scale of a view, you have to start from scratch. Let's look at a different way that has the potential to save huge amounts of time while enabling you to do things that you couldn't before. For starters, let's tag all elements and all views with their appropriate tags. In some cases, it could be as easy as that to annotate an entire project. So let's undo and let's take a look at how this works and how to set up your own custom tag placement rules. So let's look at a simple door tag. So this one's got no offsets uh, and it's just being inserted where the family was inserted. When I click to create, you can see it appears in the middle of each door. Now, if I wanted the tag to be located three feet to the left of each door insertion, then I could specify an offset to negative uh, three. And then as soon as I start editing this, it notifies me that custom settings are active and checks the current selected settings tag. So it will actually place two tags unless I uncheck one of these. Now this places it three feet to the left on plan, but if you want it to be three feet to the left based on someone entering into the door, you could click the option to have the offsets relative to the element rotation. Check the box to delete existing tags as you play with the position, and then you can test where you'd like the tag to always be when you apply it. Now, if I wanted to save this as a preset, then I can click the button to save it as a new preset. And then for my next project, I can just click that preset to apply it to all my elements. So next, let's look at a lighting fixture tag. Now, this preset actually will place two tags on each element. So a couple differences to note on this one. This one is offset from a bounding box corner instead of the family insertion like the other one. You also have lots of options when choosing where to place a tag. You could choose to place the tag at family insertion, but then do offsets. Uh, let's say you wanted to do it at half, like 0.5 times the length and 0.5 times the height parameter values to get something equivalent to say the bottom right corner of the fixture or radius or whatever parameter you want to use. Another option selected here is the limit to 180 degrees. Uh, in this case, this means that the tag will stay on the top left or the bottom right of the fixture instead of going all the way around the fixture when it's rotated 180 degrees or more. There's also an option to scale from a base scale. This is so that your tag distances can scale with the view scale if needed. If you have views of different scales or if you change the scale of a drawing, you can easily have the tool place tags correctly for you. And finally, let's look at a complex example using filters. So if I click on this electrical receptacle tag, it looks like it's going to tag each receptacle with four different tags. Uh, but in fact, it only tags each one once, but it chooses from these four options based on filters. In this case, I, I have a tag with different types and each having a different text alignment. So if I tag an element, I want the text to be aligned toward the element so that the text grows away from the element as more characters are needed. This is using down here, the filters uh, rotation.degrees property. It's only going to use this tag type if the element is rotated in this range. And you could use any parameter as a filter, and you may want to explore the elements in the Model Manager Parameter Transformer tool to see what other parameters are available for you to use here. So like you saw at the beginning, after you've created your templates, the end result is that you can just select which presets you want to apply, and you can apply them to as many views as you want. You can also tag linked elements like uh, structural columns or other items. You just need to have the all elements option selected so that it can get all the linked elements. If you're looking to tag rooms or spaces, there is a separate tool for those in the project setup tool. 
in the manage views tabs, you would just need to select all the views that you want tagged and then click the tag all rooms spaces button. And here you have options to place all of those tags. So start playing with the tool today and set up some preset positions now so your computer can do the work that you used to spend hours on. Make sure your design teams and collaboration partners are making efficient use of the tools available to them. Visit the website for additional tools and resources to help you on your next projects.